afterwards, um, you see, um, in my opinion, like, the biggest baddie in the entire, like, story, right? You see the second Valkyrie sister walk into a room. Like, uh, Sister Ho Sister Horace, I think is her name. Yeah, I'll, sh yeah, I'll show you a picture of her. It's from the wiki, though. So there might be a better panel or whatever. She she has a like she she, she has like a split personality right and it, and the reason why is because her her name her name translates uh, her name translates to uh the one trembling in either fear or anger right and so like she has that split personality where like she she fucking snap right and she goes all fucking like 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 she has like she has like she has like that like this murder like yandere face right like like. She, like, she's not a yandere, but, like, she has, like, this murderous face she makes, like, when she snaps, right? And she's like, damn, I fucking kill, like, those fucking bastards, right? And afterwards, uh, we, uh, after, uh, it's, it's sort of third round, it's about to begin, right? But the gods, like, tell humanity who, like, who they're sending in. And they're sending in Poseidon. Yeah, 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 the god, then they Poseidon, that's your next fighter. And afterwards, uh, Poseidon is, is considered another top two uh, god fighter, right? But, he, but he's coming into the third round, so uh, the gods are trying to push the uh, humanity to the brink, right? So, uh, so, so you know, afterwards, Brunholi is trying to decide who to, uh, you know, who to uh, send in next, right? And, and, and you see a couple names. You see a couple names on the stream. You see uh, you see um, Quin Shi Huang, King Leonidas, and uh, freaking uh, what's his name? My, uh, Michael not like not like Nostradamus, right? Up here on the screen, and, and she's trying to you know decide who like, what, like 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 they're uh, yeah like yeah like like the list of gods, the list of humans are like, hot. Like have been uh you freaking uh determined since the chapter two right, but, but but she's trying to you know say uh who she wants to fight in the tournament right, but you know but but out of nowhere freaking, in my opinion like my my like my second favorite character the biggest Chad in the entire tournament right, S Sasaki Kojiro comes into the uh, comes from behind right touches the screen and he says I will go fight Poseidon right, but and, you know. But thing is, all the Valkyries in a room look at Sasaki, right? And they're like, "What the fuck?" Like they all have that "what the fuck" face, right? Because because something weird is going on. Sasaki's an old man, but you, but you're supposed to be in your you're, like, you're supposed to be in like your prime when you go into the afterlife, right? But but, but Sasaki said this. He's like, "Oh." Even, like, he's like it's been it's been over 400 years since I came to the afterlife, but I have never stopped pursuing the way of the sword. This is my this is my golden age, right? Yeah, and you see and you see this one really cool scene to where like like uh, when Brunhilde like uh, freak uh, you know got got like startled right after seeing uh, Sasaki right? She accidentally drops a pitcher of milk. On the floor, right? But as the picture is falling, Sasaki takes his sword and and he freaking like like grabs the milk by the by the ladle, right? It ca uh, ca carries it. It carries like the ladle, the the, the picture, right? Like and, and, and you see him grab uh, um, the milk, right? As it's falling, as it's overflowing, right? Onto the like as it's falling on the floor, and, like like he grabs it, right? And and he freaking makes sure the milk doesn't like drop on the floor, right?
Yeah, like, like he's pretty cool, right? So that so like he, so like he fights Poseidon, right? And Poseidon is considered the most uh, like scariest god because like he fucking like like um like he fucking looks that like he is the definition of a god, right? Like perfection, right? He hates uh all humans and he hates uh, all gods that kind of act like human, right? And freaking um like he had like this backstory to where he killed his older brother because his, old, his older brother was like yeah like you're a god but you act like a piece of shit right like like you don't act like a god should act and he kills him right <laughs> and 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 freaking and then, and then you learn that uh like this piece of shit older brother right like like Poseidon was like damn like this fucking piece like, like, like this guy right like. I don't want this guy in the in the history of Olympia anymore. And fucking Zeus like just like, wiped it out of history. Like Zeus just wiped his brother's like name out of history, right? Like, like his older brother. Like like <sighs> Pretty much. I, I mean like so so so, so freaking um uh, Saki fights uh Poseidon, right? For, for, for the first chapter, the Saki doesn't even like, doesn't even attack Poseidon, but like he's sweating, right? Because it turns out the Saki actually uh he does like mental battles in his head, right? Like he fights like a thousand mental battles in his head against Poseidon, right? Yeah. So, so yes, yeah. So Sasaki's nickname is the world uh, is history's greatest loser. And we learned like Sasaki's history who were like when he was when he was you know just a student, right? Like he left the dojo, you know, went to the went to the, um, the forest and started, you know, training with the animals, right? Like he starts like imitating animals and shit. He goes back to the dojo, he defeats, you know, his superior, he loses again. More more years pass. He 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 goes he goes on a journey to every, you know, great swordsman in Japan, right? He loses and the thing is right, the thing with Sasaki is that like he doesn't want to be stronger, he wants to be the strongest, right? So like, he won't ask for a rematch. After he loses, that's it, right? Like, like he moves on. So like, so like, if he loses the fight, right? He's like, he, he's like, that person is stronger than me, right? I'm gonna do a mental, I'm, I'm gonna do as many mental battles as it takes, right? As like as much training as it takes until I beat this person, right? So like, so 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 yeah, has the most L's in history, right? So before he starts swinging his sword, like he he, he does a bunch of mental battles with Poseidon, right? Like, and he dies every mental battle. Yes, yes, like. Yeah. Like, Sasaki like did exist IRL, but like I'm pretty sure like um like his history is actually like shrouded, but like there is some stuff about him, but like no, it, a lot of stuff is like unclear. Like. Oh, and the funny thing is, like, you actually see like a lot of his like, you see like pretty much everyone, everyone he's ever fought, right, in the, in a crowd, and they're all trim, and they're all supporters for Sasaki. Like, you, like, like, like you see like his old master, you see um, uh, some guy called the Sword Saint, you see Musashi, the uh, Miyamoto or, or, or like whatever his name was. Yeah, you all see them cheer for Sasaki, right? Because Sasaki is considered, uh. You know, um, unmatched beneath the heavens. So, so you know, Sasaki and uh, Poseidon finally, finally get into a direct combat, right? And, um, and you know, you know, not gonna lie, Poseidon's kind of Poseidon's kind of, of like a uh, a virgin. <laughs> you know, like virgin in the chat means. Wait, well, 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 like he is a piece, like he is a piece of shit, right? But like, like I, I, I wouldn't say he's petty, but like, yo, this guy only has one technique. 
Cause what? Cause what? There's one technique that, that he renames and reskins the same technique and calls it a different technique. Yes. So, so it's one technique, right? It's just like like thrusting his spear and that's it. Like, that's, that's, like, that's all he does. Yeah. He just like, like sticks out a spear and like, it's like, damn, you're done. Like, that's it. But like, Sasaki, Sasaki, you know, Sasaki starts like countering all his spears, right? And it does his um his secret technique, uh, swallowing um Spiro, right? Subumi Gaishi or some shit like that. It uh, swallowing Spiro, right? And basically, what he says, right, is like, uh, so so freaking uh, Sasaki has a giant sword, right? Like his sword is big as Sephiroth. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's for a sword, right? Like that giant fucking like katana, right? So, um, so basically, what he say, right, is that freaking uh, the socket actually has surpassed inertia. So his this technique surpasses the laws of inertia, right? So like he swings the he swings his sword, right, with all his like, um might, right? But the laws of nurture say like what like like when you uh, you know once you put something in motion, it can't be stopped right until like a unstable force meets it right. But but freaking uh, Sasaki's like fuck that shit right. So like so after he swings the sword right, he, he like swings it back up super fast right like with all his muscles right, and he stops the sword right, and makes it swing upwards instead right. Like, he stops the inertia and it and it is it, a two hit combo. Thing. And he actually, he actually like is able to cut, uh, cut freaking Poseidon. He cuts his fucking like, like he cuts his hair, right? So, so now freaking, uh, yeah, 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 freaking, uh, so, so like Poseidon dodges his attack, right? But now he has like a bitch, but now Poseidon has like a bitch haircut, right? And then they, and they get into a fight, right? Like you know, clashing you know, trident and uh, sword, and so and until freaking Poseidon breaks, um. This could breaks the sword, right? And, and and everyone is like, and everyone's like, damn, the fuck is gonna lose. He just broke his bull loon, right? Like he just broke his sword. But it turns out, out of nowhere, Saki's like, don't you know my sword, my sword technique, my sword technique has not been perfected yet. Until now, he picks up the broken uh, piece of the of his, of his you know his sword, right? He picks up the handle. And his sword does a volun again. Like he, he like he re like like he reaches Super Saiyan two. And his sword transforms, right? And now he has two swords. And out, out of nowhere. And the reason why he has two swords is because the Valkyrie, right? She has two personalities, right? Which means she can do a volun or twice and have two swords. <laughs> And out of, and out of, yeah, and I know, but out, you know, out of nowhere, looking through Hilly is watching this shit, right? And she was actually amazed because she thought, you know, because she thought, you know, he was gonna lose, right? And afterwards, she said, Kojiro for the win. Like, like she actually says Kojiro FTW, right? <laughs> yeah, obviously, right? And freaking, um, Kojiro. Uh, and, and here's the thing, like, Kojiro actually steals uh, Musashi's te uh, technique. And then, and, but it's not, it's not just Musashi, Kojiro steals everyone's technique, every sort of thing fought. He just steals their techniques. Yes. Well, well less, like, he, like, he can't, he can't, like, uh, counter every move, like, with his eyes. He, he can just predict every move, cause like, cause like he's gone considered the ultimate scanner, right? Like he he, like he can uh, scan and stimulate how to do shit, right? So like, he still he uses every stolen technique he's ever you know like, like every technique he's ever uh, saw, right? He stole the technique and he brought made his own. And um, and here and here's like a freaking Kojiro's like ultimate move, bro. 
He freaking like does like basically like some like the world shit. Uh, I'm, and I'm pretty sure the technique is called uh, wait, wait it, it's not, it's not a wood. I'm pretty sure it's called some shit like uh, God like wait no wait, wait it's called Hand of God right? And basically uh, Hand of God right? And basically what he does right like he becomes he becomes one with the universe right like he reacts to every cell every element and every you know particle right? And basically like he freaking scan like, like, like he scans everything right? Basically, right, and, 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 and like when he does this, right, he does, he does something called thousand image defense. And he can counter a thousand like, like a thousand moves, right? And afterwards, um, he does his freaking like ultimate fucking technique, right, to where like he that like, he combines his technique with uh with Musashi's technique, right? And he basically and basically cut and he basically like is able to go uh, like cut. Poseidon like on, on the chest right like an X and he and he cuts off Poseidon's arm. But thing is But thing is right like Poseidon you know Poseidon's kinda chad right so like he's still fighting like 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 freaking Poseidon grabs his arm right like, like, like grabs his like his trident right that's like flying in the air But 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 like but like remember like his hand it got like cut off, right? And its hand is, is attached to the trident still. But you know, but so so what? Like Poseidon does, right? He grabs like the hand that like that's grabbing the spear. He crushes his own hand, right? And he proceeds to and he proceeds to freaking uh like yeah it, like he grabs his, his own hand, cr like crushes it, right? Just to grip his spear, just to attack uh Kojiro uh, Sasaki, right? And the thing is. So again, Sasaki sees that shit, and he cuts off his his, his, his last arm. So now, so not you know, so not you know, but Sasaki has no arms, right? So he, you know, so like he does, so like he decides to grab his spear with his teeth, his mouth, like on some Zoro shit, right? And he, you know, it, you know, it, so like he, so he tries to end the fight with his fucking teeth, right? Afterwards, fucking Kojiro is like, bro, enough is enough. Just cuts this guy into like three different sections, right? And they cut his body and so into three different sections, and fucking Sun just dies. Yeah, I know, I know it's pretty crazy.